What's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we've got the VS410 RC four wheel drive hard body Toyota out here on the rocks. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go see what this thing's capable of. We're gonna probably bring it down just a notch with this truck. The conditions aren't the best today for traction. It's gonna be a little slick, a little bit of sliding, but we're gonna try and do more of a scale style video. Let's go see how this turns out. Of course, we got our trail buddy Sydney out here with us, but this is a VS410 slider kit that Vanquish offered for a short time in the 2022 holiday season. And then I equipped it with an RC four wheel drive 1987 Toyota extended cab hard body. So this is more of a, this is the most scale truck that I own and run, but it's got the VFD twin in it and I don't have any servos heck hooked up to it. So it's just locked in the full overdrive mode. So this thing's still quite capable despite uh, the way it looks. But in the short time I've owned this truck, it's been really fun to get out and run. Uh, I drive it completely different than my other trucks. I try and drive it more realistic, as well as trying to take care of the body and the paint. So a little bit different driving experience, always makes some fun. Sydney, come say hi. Oh, hello. Yes, coming over for pets. You gotta say hi to all your fans. Everybody watches for you, they don't watch for me. So on this slider kit, it was the straight axle kit, and I decided to go ahead and put on the uh, F10T axles, which look a lot like Toyota housings. So these are aluminum axle housings and they fit the build quite nice. They look like the old original, you know, 1980s Toyota pickup axles. Dragging our bumper a little bit. That is an RC four wheel drive rear bumper. I don't know if I remember the part number off my head anymore. And I don't know if I'd be able to find the part number anymore. It's in one of my older videos where I built the truck. So if you're really desperate, uh, check out the build video on it. Let's see if we can get our front tire to grab some traction up here. Speaking of tires, these are the Proline Toyo Open Countries. They look super realistic. I just thought it was a great choice for this truck. And uh, they've been hooking up pretty dang well. Although, like I mentioned today, very slick. A little bit of moisture on the rocks. Always makes things difficult. Pulling a rock out from underneath us now. Don't think we're going to get our belly up and over this one which is fine. We can't win them all, right guys? I'm gonna take the bypass. There we go, found a little higher consequence line. Now some of my regular viewers may know that this truck has a light kit in it, but today I know that I'm going out for a little while and uh, trying to conserve some battery power if possible. So I'm not having the lights on right now. Not that they consume that much, but the rock lights do and it's all tied together. So just decided not to run the lights today, but they do look really awesome. They are from Lit LED. They just plug into a 3S sensor port on your battery. Sensor plug, sensor port, I don't know. I'm not a batteryologist. Here we go. I'm trying to hold a hook on that front right, but there's no weights in this truck. It does have brass rings in the front wheels, I guess. That's a weight. But probably not enough to offset the weight of the body on this. With interior, it's kind of chunky. Oh, it's close. Come on. really close it was and then it slipped off all right when in doubt throttle out so we are out here in sand hollow park today and we're actually somewhat following a real buggy trail it is called tnt and we're hitting some of the side obstacle stuff some of the rocks that nobody really drives on because these are a little more appropriate for this truck but uh, that's one of my favorite things to do is go out in sand hollow and follow the real buggy trails because there's always good rocks along the way. That's why they're buggy trails. Excuse the panting from this one. Here we go. Yeah, Sage the Toyota kicking some ass out here like usual. Having a good time with this truck. Got the radio talk sticker on that extended cab window. I get a lot of comments about the S&M Bike Co. sticker on there. Got that from my buddies over at Bonebox RC. So be sure to check out Bonebox RC. 
Sometimes you see some obstacles that you know will just look good. And then a close-up angle to watch the truck work. Yeah. Awesome. This truck looks so good on camera. Now there's a lot of sand out in this area and typically you want some wheel speed for sand. This truck has a 1200 kV Fusion SE. I figured this thing didn't need a ton of wheel speed being a more scale realistic truck. I didn't want to let it get away from me very much with the, the throttle and bumping over obstacles. So not a real spicy motor in this one, but it's adequate, I would say. So far it's gotten me where I really wanted to go with this truck. Just a solid, naturally stacked pile of rocks, which usually spells trouble for trucks like these because you get axled out and diffed out and they shift around on you when you need them most. Oh, buddy. Nice. Barely pulled up and over that one. That was a cool line. Gonna come up this washed out draw. This truck doesn't have a ton of articulation because if I went any crazier, the tires would start really getting into the bodywork, which is not really what I'm interested in on this. I've got lots of trucks with lots of articulation. This one has 80 millimeter shocks. I think it's got good enough articulation. Okay, front end, fall down. Not, not like that, that's not what I meant. Come on, truck. Let's get that turn. Come on. Stand up. Now we're getting into our paintwork over here. Trying to keep the truck out of the rock. Not that I ever expected this not to get scratches, but I do my best not to just intentionally beat it up. And this is not really an obstacle that I think is worth beating it up over. There we go. That was a cool transition. Nicely done. Worked out right at the end. Fun fact about Sydney here is that she is an expert in finding shade. So if you guys are ever out on the trail and need to find shade, just go find Sydney. Although she is kind of hard to see while she's laying in the shade. She'll disappear on you. Driving some buggy lines here. So they've got some actual rubber laid down on the rocks. Gonna see if it'll give us the traction we're looking for. These VS410s are impressive what they will handle. So I, I never really expected to go up that upper part, but we can go around, off to the side. There we go. This little Sage truck, man, it's a good time. A little wet and sandy in here with ledges. We're gonna need some throttle for this, no doubt. Woo! Okay, let's try off to the right side. I don't know if it's a good idea to go any further driver. The big hole over here, more mud. Lost it. Okay, we'll try just going off over to the right. Pull, truck, pull. Oh, man. Come on, let's catch that ledge with the lower right rear. Nice, nice, worked it over. We got it up that way. Let's see if we can make it back towards the main line. Getting a little off camber here. Wonder if we grab it with the front passenger if it'll hold. It didn't grab. Okay. Need to get the rear more squared up to this climb. Woo, buddy. Hold on. 
<laughs> oh, that was scary. Ooh, that's good. We're up there. Grab truck. Come on, Toyos. No, settle, settle, settle. Settle too late. <laughs> Need that front to just hook on and grab. Ah, so close. Maybe we can let it just work its way downhill. There's nothing behind this thing. So hopefully this works. See that left rear tire getting all wadded up and wrinkling as it goes around. Uh oh. Getting a little leaned over to the driver's side. Hold on, Sage. Hold on to it. We're going to turn driver in a second. Go, 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 go. Ah, it's so close. It'll go up right here. Maybe not. Man, these ledges are brutal today. There we go. Sweet. Sage got up and out of there. We had to earn that one, that was no doubt. Settle. A lot of slick tire spinning action today. So close, come on. Look at that front right, almost get it every time. So close every time. All right, finally dried it off enough to make it work. I'm just gonna Baja our way up through here. We're gonna exit left, waiting for the key moment to turn left to get that left rear up on, on top of the rock. Super fun. Sage getting after it today. Uh oh, we're about to roll. Don't roll. Nice little save. Sick, that was a good climb. So as I mentioned, we have a 1200 kV Fusion SE motor in here, and for the servo, for the steering, we have a Reefs Raw 500, and this one happens to be the limited edition uh, Charlie, Operation 11 Charlie servo. So shout out to Operation 11 Charlie. Those guys are doing awesome things for the RC community, helping out veterans and active military members and getting their families together out there for you know a positive hobby and community to be a part of and uh, they, they help each other out. So big shout out to those guys. They do a lot of good for everybody. Oh, we got it and it stuck. Nice, that was, that was risky. Now we gotta get the belly over. So I wanna, I'm gonna bump it pretty hard right about now. Oh, no, hold on to it. Okay. I'm trying to get the skid plate more driver. I'm trying to get the skid plate more driver right there. Not quite. A little more. Ah, come on. So close. All right, we did it. That was a good one for Sage. That was definitely at the peak of its capabilities, but she got her done. All right, come on, another bump. All right, didn't get stuck on her belly on that one. You still panting over here, panting in my ear? Sydney likes to check in on us, give us a spot on the lines. 
see if we're going across good obstacles. So this little cross over here has actually got about a two inch gap across from rock to rock. Luckily these tires are 4.6 inches tall, which are a little big on this truck for the scale look. I think a 419 would look a little more appropriate, but this tire is not available in the 419. And I like the style on this tire, so that's the direction we went with it. Very nice, made it look easy. Probably because it is. Well guys, I just went and scouted this, and while it doesn't look like much for the RC truck, this little canyon here is super cool because the full-size buggies will come in and drive over this, and they've got a tire up here and up here, and you can actually walk under the car as they drive through here. It's also got a really wicked side hill on the entrance for the full-size cars, so it's definitely a cool obstacle. But uh, today for the scale truck, it's not bad. It's just a nice little ravine wash, old canyon. Definitely looks good on camera though. And then we're just gonna follow Sydney's lead out of here. And I think we're gonna go ahead and call this a trail. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here, guys. I greatly appreciate you watching all the way till the end. That means a lot. Be sure to drop a comment if you've watched the entire video so that I know who watches all the videos. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it. Hit the affiliate links down below. I'll leave as many links to this truck as I can. Unfortunately, the slider kit is not available anymore. So basically your best option to start there would be to buy a straight axle Phoenix and then you can body swap it. You can even sell that body that comes with the Phoenix for a pretty good price and help cover the cost of the hard body. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.